Hello, Cougar fans, and welcome into UHCougars.com. It's game week as the Houston Cougar football team opens up TDECU Stadium against the UTSA Roadrunners on Friday. With Ted Pardee, I'm Jeremy Branham with our keys to the game. And we'll start talking about UTSA. It's a team that the Cougars know well. They played them last season, led by Larry Coker, and he's done great things in San Antonio. The evolution of the Roadrunners has been tremendous. Jeremy, it's incredible when you consider that this is their fourth year in the FBS level of football. In just three years, they had seven wins. That's the most wins by any team in over 20 years. It's a program that's on the way up, and the Cougars have to be on their toes. Last year, the Cougars' defense uh, was was very good. They took a huge step up defensively, were very good at turnovers all season long, and they're going up against a UTSA offense on Friday uh, that has shown that they have plenty of experience and they have some uh, big play capabilities. There's no question about it. This is a roadrunner offense that used to be led by Eric Souza. Well, Eric is now wearing red. He's a Cougar coach. He's on our sidelines, but don't think that that's going to slow these roadrunners down. They are a powerful team. They did a great job for three quarters against Houston. The Cougar defense is going to have to kick it in like they did in the fourth quarter against UTSA and get takeaways. Switching sides to the Cougars offense, led by John O'Corn, will be entering his sophomore season. Deontay Greenberry, the outstanding receiver who put up huge numbers last year. And first game of the season, but already a big test going up against a very experienced UTSA defense. Well, UTSA returns over 11 upperclassmen. Ten starters, nine seniors are going to be starting on this team. So it's a team that's got a lot of ability, a lot of experience. The Cougar offense is going to have to really try to play ball control. I expect the Cougars to run the ball between the tackles to really test this roadrunner defense and then go vertical to Deontay Greenberry. Of course, if you tuned into our segment last year with our keys to the game, I always like to ask Ted if there's going to be a difference maker. And Ted, will there be? This year you have to look at DeMarcus Ayers. DeMarcus is the difference maker. He was number one in the AAC in returns, number 12 in the nation. This guy, is a, as a true freshman, he was explosive. I can't wait to see him after another year of coaching. We certainly hope that you'll join us at TDECU Stadium Friday night at 8 o'clock. But if you can't make it or on your way in, tune into our pregame show starting at 6.30 with kickoff at 8 on our new flagship home, KPRC 950.